by another Canadian city today would have virtually wiped out their chances. For Vancouver Whistler, it really gives us the opportunity we now are Canada's business. Electric media bring back the village from the distant past, where you knew everything about everybody and news traveled fast. Now this is what I call the global village. You no longer have to be anywhere in order to do everything. The same information is available at the same moment from every part of the world. The world is now like a continually sounding tribal drum where everybody gets the message all the time. A princess gets married in England, and boom, boom, boom go the drums. We all hear about it. An earthquake in North Africa, a Hollywood star gets drunk, away go the drums again. Electric media retrieve the forest, stirring all around you. Electric information comes from all directions at once, and when information comes from all directions simultaneously, you are living in an acoustic world. The acoustic world has no continuity, no homogeneity, no connections, and no stasis. Everything is changing. It's the same shift that Alice in Wonderland made to know him when she went through the looking glass. Electric media retrieve the old dark age of goddesses and monsters. Our ancestors lived in a mythic world because they had none of the literate means of classification. A myth is a speeded up following of a process. We live mythically ourselves so that we understand their myths now for the first time. You should know what the stakes are. The stakes are the, our, our civilization versus tribalism. And it's a considerable revolution to have been through 2,500 years of phonetic literacy, only to encounter the end of that road. Pattern recognition in the midst of a huge, overwhelming, destructive force is the way out of the maelstrom. The huge vortices of energy created by our media present us with similar possibilities of evasion, of consequences, of destruction. 